Russian President Putin remarked on Tuesday that African nations will always remember the dark chapter of Western colonial oppression when European powers trafficked children from the continent, putting them on display in cages. He also noted that these same countries are trying to push their former dominions into indentured servitude. Speaking at the plenary session of the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok, Putin said he was sure it would not be too difficult for Russia to restore close relations with Africa to the level of the Soviet era when Moscow provided the continent with ample economic aid. The Russian leader argued that African countries remember Moscow's help in the struggle for independence and that Moscow had never acted as a colonizer. Our cooperation has always been based on either mutual grounds or the desire to help, he said. However, Putin noted that these countries remember not only Soviet aid, but also Western ruthlessness. As late as 1957, people from Africa were taken to Europe in cages. You can't watch that without tears. Children sitting in cages, displayed for everyone to see, Putin recalled. No one in Africa will ever forget it. The Russian president said the West has not abandoned its subjugation attempts. Even now, they are trying to boss around and pursue their generally neo-colonial policies, Putin said explaining that Western countries have imposed trillions of dollars worth of loans on the region. The West has concocted a credit system with African countries which, by definition, does not allow them to pay back their loans. These are not credit relations. This is some kind of punitive indemnity, he added. However, Russia adheres to a different approach which gives it an advantage in fostering ties with its partners worldwide, Putin argued. On the other hand, Brazilian President Lula da Silva goes on an executive rant about the International Criminal Court, ICC, and says he doesn't understand why Brazil signed up for ICC's jurisdiction. In the interpretation that I accessed, Lula said, I'm not saying I'm going to withdraw from the ICC right away. I didn't even know such a court existed. But I want to know why the US didn't sign the agreement, why India didn't sign the agreement, why China didn't sign the agreement, why Russia didn't sign the agreement, but Brazil did. What made Brazil do it? What made Africa to do it? The ICC was created for the slaves, the colonies of colonial Europe in Africa and elsewhere. It was never meant to indict anyone from anywhere else but those colonies. It was created as a scaremongering institution to scare African politicians who can challenge the pillaging of our commonwealth by countries like France and their European friends. That's why they did what they did to Gbagbo of Ivory Coast, just so their French-baked Alassane Ouattara would be installed to protect and promote France's interests in Ivory Coast. ICC hasn't seen or heard of the evils of France and colonial Europe on the continent of Africa, I guess. ICC doesn't function when African puppets of colonial Europe kill, maim, steal and loot the treasury dry on behalf of the colonials. They look the other way as these killer, corrupt politicians and their families are given red carpet reception in Europe with blood-stained shoes. They only swing into action whenever the colonials tell them to. Whenever the interests of the colonial forces are threatened, that's ICC for you.